Hey guys, today we're talking about uh, trusty old trailer, Big Red. Anybody's got a lawn or yard knows what these are, knows they have a lot of useful purposes. They're very good for a lot of things and the price point's excellent on them. We'll talk more about that in a minute though. And then we have this big old, I, this logging wagon, which I use all the time. You've seen a lot of my videos anytime I'm coming in and out of the woods with trees or split wood or chopped wood or, uh, you know, chipped wood. Anything that I'm pulling out of the woods, logs, full logs, I, I pull out on this thing because it, uh, well, I'll tell you more about that in a minute too. So stay tuned. We're going to talk about trailer versus wagon. Hope you like this. So welcome to TWC Projects. Uh, I'm actually kind of excited about making this uh, video today. I really have been putting it off for a while. I didn't think it was a big deal. Uh, but this morning I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go do a YouTube search for trailers versus wagons and see what kind of videos are out there. And I didn't really see any. So, uh, hey, this is something good. Anyway, I've mentioned that I would talk about this before. I love this, one of my favorite tools. Um, as you know, there's uh, all kinds of choices and hopefully that's why these videos help you figure out what's the right choice for you. Um, if you're like me, you know, you're under 20 acres, you don't have a real farm, you don't really have a necessarily, you might have a small tractor or a, a UTV side-by-side -side or a big riding lawnmower or tractor, something big enough that can pull some weight. Um, and, and as I said at the beginning, you know, everybody knows good old Big Red here. I mean, the price point's phenomenal. It's between $100 and $200 and uh, they've been around forever, works great tailgate opens up the uh, you know it's got a dump on it you pull the pin and the thing dumps out it's excellent i still use it for dirt and things that i need to quickly dump out but um but if i'm hauling anything out into the woods or from the woods uh it just doesn't uh i it doesn't really, really work right so and it's not certainly not very heavy enough heavy duty enough so i started doing some research and i found there's a lot of great um a lot of great trailers out there uh, and I was looking at trailers. I wasn't thinking about wagons at all at first because uh, it just didn't occur to me. I mean, they have some excellent, in fact, Abandon even makes a really phenomenal wagon. I was ready, or excuse me, a trailer, and I was ready to buy it. And then I discovered this. And so let me tell you a little bit about why and what's important to me And when I was looking for a trailer. One was it had to be able to carry some real weight. Uh, most of these are like four or 500 pounds. They don't carry a lot. Uh, a few of the bigger ones might be 700 pounds. Um, but I knew that I was going to be pulling some 10 foot, at least 10 foot logs out of the woods and I needed something that had enough length uh, and that had the strength to do that. And with, with most of the trailers, even though they do have some that have these uh, double tires and dual sets on each side, which is really cool, um, they give you a lot of extra strength. The wagon, as you can see, it does a couple things. One is it, it extends these wheels out over the side here. Um, to give you a lot better, like this is really hard to tip this thing over. I haven't tipped it yet, I hopefully, hopefully I don't, but um, very hard to tip it over because of that. But also, um, the distribution of the weight, unlike a trailer, which is mostly all the weight at one pivot point in the middle, because it has to be for the dumping, to be able to do a, a, have a dumping trailer at least. Uh, whereas this one puts it on all four corners pretty evenly. So instead of handling 700 pounds, this thing will handle up to 1,800 pounds. And uh, the actual size of, uh, and I'll, I'll throw the dimensions up on the screen uh, when I put in post edit here, but because um, I don't remember the dimensions, but it's pretty big compared to most trailers I've seen. And my UTV is actually you know, like a small truck. So um, putting this thing behind it, really I couldn't put anything in it. I certainly couldn't haul logs and very limited amount of wood. In fact. The amount of wood that's in here right now is about as much as will fit in here. Maybe a little bit more if I stack it up and do it, you know, work at it. But I just happened to throw this stuff in with the last tree I was cleaning up that, that came down or the last limb that came down. Um, so uh, let me tell you about some other features on this thing. Uh, and, and don't get me wrong, there are pros and cons. You might still need a trailer might be the right thing for you. If, if mostly what you're doing is hauling stuff and dumping it out and hauling it and dumping it out, and you're not carrying uh, long things, big logs or really heavy things, you're fine um, with a good wagon, or a good trailer, excuse me. But the other thing I like about the wagon that I hadn't even thought about is uh, right here. These handles and the fact that it's on all four wheels, 
when this has a load in it or not, I can easily unhook it. I can move, maneuver it around as I need to. And I can, um, uh, you know, I don't have to unload it or have some kind of a special trailer jack on the front to keep it in place. So this is a lot more versatile for me in the way that I'm operating. I'm often finding myself just moving this around a little bit and going and hauling other things. So uh, let's talk about this a little bit more. The other thing that's really nice about this, so most of the wagons, the sides are fixed. They're either, and I'll show some pictures of some others uh, again in post edit, but um, they're often fixed sides. Sometimes they, they widen them out a little bit so you can get some more in there. But for me, that wasn't really helping because the, the size of the logs I needed to put, I couldn't, I wasn't gonna be stacking them up like that and I couldn't really easily get them in. With this, these posts right here come off very easily with a simple flip of a clip and you slide it out and you pull this post right up. And that gives you ultimate flexibility to pull stuff off from the side or pull it off from the side. I think you might've seen in the first video when I first bought this thing, that was one of the things I did was I, I took these, took this end off, I took the net off and then I just hauled logs through it. And I'll, again, I'll throw some pictures up of that. And, um, and then when I got ready to take them off, it was, you know, it was a lot of work to get them on the way I did it. And I'm gonna do something differently. I've learned a little bit since then. But uh, taking them off, though, was really easy. I just pulled these three posts, rolled them right onto my pile where I needed them. Uh, it was fantastic. So I love that about it. Um, and I told you in a previous video, I put a winch on here, which is really nice crank winch, uh, winch for, um, and I have a couple different setups where I can pull stuff from you know, the back on. Usually I have to be hooked up to the UTV to use that because that's obviously pulling a lot of weight upward. Um, I like the big ball trailer hitch. If I want to take it off and use it on a regular tractor hookup, I just pull this pin, slide this out. In fact, on the very first video, that's the way I was doing it until I, I went and bought a, a um, ball, uh, which this is so much faster and better. I highly recommend that if you have that option on your, on your, uh, your towing vehicle. If you've just got a tractor or a lawnmower that has the other, then still works great with that. Still pretty quick, um, but uh, the ball is the best. So um, let's see, what else do I love about this thing? Uh, of course, the flexibility of having some really very heavy net. I was kind of surprised. I've done a lot of throwing, especially when I'm splitting wood. I'm often, I split it on the splitter and just toss it in here. And I was kind of worried that I, I would like rip this nylon or whatever this is made out of, but it's, it's super strong. I can't believe I haven't broken it. Honestly, I've been a little bit abusive to this thing. I've had it for not quite a year yet. Um, and it's dirty. I was gonna wash it all up, but you know, I, I felt like it was worth showing you. This is what it really looks like. It's been sitting out, unfortunately I haven't had a place to store it, so it's been sitting outside for a year. Um, and that's what the weather, uh, that's all the weathering has done. The only rust on it is these two bolts that I put on that I should have treated properly before I put them on. I was just kind of in a hurry that day. But for doing bigger stuff, especially if you've got, you know, like I said, woods and property like I do, um, this, this, bigger, this bigger rig works real well. So. Um, so let's go through, let's see, pros and cons. I've kind of hit a lot of them, but one of them is, uh, uh, one of the cons of this, there's actually definitely a few cons to this thing. And you know, to be truly honest, as much as I love it, one is that I don't quite understand the way the net goes like this. I guess what I could do, I, I don't know if I could turn the net around, but to me, sometimes I want to be able to get to the back here and uh, pull stuff off. So what I end up doing is I pull a few of these posts and I just drop it from the side, which is good, but it would be better if there was a way to actually open that net on the end and, and pull stuff out that way instead of having to take it off. So that, you know, not the best. Um, of course, not having the ability to dump, but we've already talked about that. Um, what else is a, uh, let's see. There's gotta be something else about this that I think is challenge. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sounds kind of silly. I ba I've back trailers my whole since I was a kid driving lawnmowers, and, and, and so trailers are no problem to back up and manage. But this is a little bit trickier because it, it's got this action that works against you. So truthfully, that's the biggest con on this thing is you have to sometimes unhook it when you're trying to back into a tighter spot. It's just hard to maneuver because it's doing the opposite. It, it's not a fixed point like on a trailer, which makes it much easier to um, navigate your trailer into, into place. So that's the biggest con on this thing. Other than that, though. Um, it's a beast, well made. Um, I, you know, I'll probably check the tires and see if I need it to uh, put any grease into the into the the wheels the bearings in the middle. But um, uh, you know, it's really been fantastic. One other thing, 
let's see, one other, was I won't say a con, but the, uh, the rings they used, one of the rings that I had for some reason wasn't very tight and it ended up falling off. Now, luckily I spotted it before very long. And so I, um, I happened to buy, you know, I love this Harbor Freight, sorry. I, I'm, I don't work for Harbor Freight, but I, I, I buy so many things sometimes from them that I just keep on hand and all of a sudden I need them and I've got them when I need them. But this, this ring here has been really nice. I've got a whole box of different sizes of these, um, different boxes of, of you know, because for like seven bucks, you can have this stuff on hand. And where I live, I mean, it's it's 30 minute drive one way to Harbor Freight, so, or, or Lowe's or anything like that. So I, uh, you know, I have these things on hand. In fact, I even keep one right here on the wagon itself, an extra one around so that I can easily, if I lose another one somewhere in the woods, I've got a replacement right away. Now I haven't, that was very early on. And like I said, I think it was just, this got hooked on something or it was the, 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 the spring part, uh, spring loaded part was kind of uh, loose. So uh, other than that, man, this thing has been fantastic. Um, I love it, highly recommend it. Um, I'll see what else I can come up with, but uh, it, it's really been an excellent, excellent tool to have. And uh, you know, I, I think you'll enjoy having one of these things around. So there are some really cool um, trailers out there for logging trailers are really awesome. I think I looked up uh, ATV logging trailers, and did some searches on that. And um, uh, they, uh, maybe I'll put some links in the description if I can find some of them. Very cool for off-road, I mean, serious uh, off-road uh, trailers that uh, had, you know, big wheels and independent suspension and, and uh, for, for doing some serious off-road stuff. But the, uh, the price point on those were definitely out of my range, I think. 2500 was, I think it was a Woodland Mills, which they, um, I don't think they even make that one anymore. Uh, it was it was too high for me anyway, but I definitely was considering it because it was very cool. Uh, and it was, it, it even had the dumping capability on it. So it was like the best, uh, but um, you know, and then they had another one that was like $5,500. Somebody else did, I don't even remember who the manufacturer was. Uh, it was serious, I mean, good equipment if you, you know, if you are professional at, but I'm just your regular guy, you know, at home. <laughs> And uh, I like, as you know already from some of the other things you've seen me review, I like to try to stay under $1,000 because I can save that amount of money up in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, but I also can justify that a little bit better than I can uh, you know, over 1000 So I think this is in the 700 range. Um, I'll put a link again to this. Uh, I got this at Northern Tools. I think they sell them elsewhere too. But um, uh, like I've said before for other things, <laughs> Uh, the nice thing about Northern Tools is they delivered it right to the store. I came and picked it up free. The shipping here to my house, I think, was going to be from uh, another person, another company I was looking at, or maybe even Northern Tools, too, was like almost $400. So uh, being smart about how you can pick up your equipment uh, at a store, uh, at a retail space, rather than having to go uh, uh, deal with massive shipping costs, because these things are heavy and bulky, um, it's always a smart way to go, so I recommend that, too. Getting up into these higher price points is just really kind of, uh, takes a lot to get there and I can't justify it because most of this stuff is just hobby. I don't make money doing this at this point. Maybe once I get to retirement, I'll be able to do a little bit more. But um, right now, this is just a part-time fun thing, which is also why I make the videos about it because I think there are other people out there like me that don't have a big budget or can't necessarily justify all that, but they, um, they love doing this. They love working with their hands, being out in the wild, hearing the birds and the crickets and frogs all the time and everything else that you hear out here. Um, the fresh air, um, you know, it's, it's different from hunting, it's different from other things. It's, you know, connecting with nature, it's doing something uh, important for the earth, um, it's keeping your property uh, from becoming a fire hazard in many cases, and, and just cleaning up. You know, with all these trees, a thousand, a couple thousand trees, you've got to keep them uh, under control and the stuff falling all the time and clean up. So, this beast is the, is the one to have, I think, um, but I'll also uh, show you the other one that I had really strongly considered because it might be right for you as well. Uh, it's fantastic, but uh, I've never used it, so I can't really say that. I'm, I'm just talking from my experience and from my needs. Uh, I know that you all have different needs and different, uh, different views, but uh, this is just one of the things you can use to research this stuff and figure out for yourself and make your best decision you can. So hope you've enjoyed this uh, little bit of a product review. Um, you know, as far as the product itself, it's been bulletproof. I have not done a thing or had, other than that little clip I told you about falling off. And I told you about the cons, very honest about that, but um, very minor things in my mind. I love it, it's been fantastic. And uh, I hope you get one, you enjoy it. Send me a comment if you do, or if you like this video. It just, uh, it's nice to, to know that other people are out there kind of 
trying to do some of the same things I am, and they're watching YouTube to figure it out. So anyway, have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps. Um, be safe, be well. Talk to you soon. Bye.